Hi everyone, welcome to the demo of Power BI Connector for ServiceNow, where I will show you how our Power BI Connector works live. So our Power BI Connector was created specifically to enable ServiceNow users import their ServiceNow data into Power BI to create beautiful dashboards and enhance the reporting capabilities for ServiceNow overall. So you can find our Power BI Connector in the ServiceNow store as we are a certified ServiceNow partner. You can try it for free in your sub-production or your personal development instance. The basic trial is for 30 days but can be extended. For more details about trial and pricing, please contact us. All the contact details will be in the description below. Once you've installed the trial or purchased the app, our app will be available in your ServiceNow instance immediately under the name Power BI Connector. So by default, only ServiceNow admins can access our connector, but they can give access to other users by assigning them the roles associated with the connector. We have three roles for our Power BI connector for ServiceNow. First one is Power BI admin. This role can access the data sources, can create them, read them, write them and delete them. Power BI editor can read, write, create the data sources, but cannot delete them. And Power BI viewer can only read and use the data sources, but cannot cre create or delete them. Once the user is assigned one of the roles, they can access and use the connector. Here we have a few tabs, authorization, data sources, portal, templates, and contact us. Under the Contact Us tab, you can find all the information uh, by which you can contact us and also a few guides to help you start with the connector. Our main tabs here will be Portal and Authorization. Let's go to the Portal. So the portal is this beautiful UI tab where all the magic happens. Here you can create the data source from scratch, from the report or from the template. You can also see a table below. Uh, this is a list of your created data sources. You can see their names, descriptions if they were given, uh, when they were created, who were they created by and also the types of the authentication to connect to the Power BI. Here from portal you can also access our documentation here by clicking get help and here you can find a lot of useful detailed guides on how to configure administration settings, user settings and a lot a lot more. And here by submit a request you can access our service desk and raise a request with our support team which will help you with anything you need. In this video, we've explored the general and administrative settings of the connector. In the next video, we will delve into the process of creating a data source and exporting the data into Power BI. The link to the video you will find in the description below or in the top right corner. Thank you for watching.